Hi everyone. In today's session for phonics, you're going to be looking at syllables. Before you start, you need to make sure you have a piece of paper um, and a marker or pencil so that you can work on um, the sheet of paper and write down the sounds that we're going to be looking at or the words that we're going to be looking at. Um, once you've done that, you also need to go and revise phase two and phase three sounds if you haven't done that just yet before you start your phonics lesson. So you can either type in Miss Chang phonics at youtube.com um, or you can um, scan the QR code and it'll take you to this playlist of phase two and phase three sounds, both the actions and the sounds. Okay. All right, let's get started. So what are syllables? So first of all, words are made up of different parts and that's what we call syllables. We can count the syllables by saying out the word and saying it out loud and then we can clap it as well, okay? So for example, um, my name is Kathy, that's my first name, so I can count the syllables that are in my name and I can say Kathy and that's two syllables, okay? So if I look at this picture here, I've got a banana and I can count the syllables that are in that word. Banana. How many syllables did you hear? One, two, three, four. It was three, of course. It was banana, banana, three syllables, okay? So there it is, we've got three syllables for the word banana. Watermelon, let's see how many syllables are in watermelon. You have a go, you can try and clap as well and see if you can count how many syllables is in that word. Watermelon. Hmm. Okay, try again. Watermelon. All right, see if you got it right. Let's see me how many parts has been broken up into. Let's have a look. Did you get one, two, three, four? Four? Well done. Good job. So it's watermelon, watermelon. So that's got four syllables in this word. Okay. All right. We are going to try and blend these words for reading. Okay. These words have two syllables in them. Shall we have a go at counting the syllables in each of these words? Okay. After we have a go at reading them. Okay. So I am going to draw some sound buttons to help you with reading. Okay. Let's have a go. Sh, a, m, p, u, sh, a, m, p, u, shampoo. Let's count the syllables. Shampoo, two syllables. Next one. G, e, f, t, b, o, x. G, e, f, t, gift, gift, b, o, x, box. Gift, box. Good. All right, the next one. L a n ch b o x l a n ch lunch b o x box lunch box lunch box good next one g i f t b a g g i f t g i f t b a g bag gift bag gift bag so a way for blending for reading, what we can do is because we know that these words have two syllables, we can actually blend the first part together first and then blend the second part and then put those two words together. So say, for example, this last one that we just did, see how it's got so many sounds there. We can actually break it into two syllables. So read the first syllable first, which is gift, and then the second syllable, bag. So we can try gift and then bag and put together gift bag, gift bag, okay? So when we're blending it, that's what we can do. All right, so we're gonna have a go at spelling and writing these um, pictures. So I've got some pictures here. This one is sandbox, okay? So it's sandbox. So there's two words there and we're gonna put them together and they've got, there's two syllables there. So you're gonna have a go at writing sandbox. See if you can have a go at writing it first. So pause the video. Have a go, and then when you're ready, I'm going to show you how to write the word sandbox, okay? I'm going to help you count how many um, sounds there are on that as well. So the first syllable has s -a -n -d, sand, okay? s -a -n -d, sand, four sounds in that one, and that's the first syllable. And then the second syllable, we have box, 
B ox box. Okay. So have a little go and I am going to write it out as well. All right. Ready? Here we go. So the first one. Ah. Ah. Sand. Nd. Nd. That's what I learned with uh, Miss Malhotra. So it's nd, nd. So n and d together. Sand. Sand. But, 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 but. B. O. X. Sandbox. Okay. Check if you got that one right. All right. Ready for your next one. Uh, this one is sandwich. Okay, sandwich. So let's count how many syllables there are. Ready? Sandwich. Two syllables. Okay. Because there's two syllables and it's a quite a long word, we can have a go at writing the first part first. So sand and then which. Sandwich. Okay. So sand. S and sand. All right. So you have a go at writing it first and then I'll have a go at writing it after you. Which. Which. So we've got sand. Which sandwich okay so you have a go and then i'm going to write it here ready let's go sand 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 all right check if you got that one right okay we're gonna go to the next one now all right this one is Drink can, drink can. All right, that's two syllables again. So we've got, uh, so this one is what we did last session with Miss Chang. So it is the initial consonant land. So dr, dr, okay. Remember it's d, r, dr, dr, okay. D, r, dr. So during, dr, dr, e, n, k, drink, drink. And can drink can so you're going to have a go at doing that there's five sounds three sounds so the first syllable has five sounds and then the next syllable has three sounds so you have a go at writing that drink can and then i'm going to show you how to write that one okay ready let's go so d r dr okay remember we make that different sound when we've got the initial blend, the initial consonant blend. So I've got d r dr e mm, oops sorry let's make that a bit longer for the mm, k drink k a mm, drink can okay there we go check if you got that one right and then we're gonna go to the next one this one is handstand two syllables again handstand so when we say this one we're going to say we're going to count how many um sounds we've got uh sorry yep handstand and hand so that's four sounds and, and remember that's the um the ending where we blend the and together and hand and hey this one has a and as well so hand hand this side stand hand stand so i've got four sounds of the first bit and then five sounds for the second part of our syllable so handstand pause the video here and have a little go yourself all right let's check if you got that right so i've got ah d hand so that's st, st. Remember that's our initial consonant blend. St, a, n, d. Lovely. All right. So we've got handstand. Very good. All right. Now we're going to have a go and see if you can work out if these words are real or if they're fake. So if it's treasure or if it's trash. Okay, let's have a little look. This is your first word. All right, let's read this one. So, um, l, a, n, ch, b, ox. L, a, n, ch, lunch, b, ox, box, lunch, 
box, lunch box. Trash or is it treasure? Mm, which one is it? If you said trash, then you are the bum wrong. It is, of course, treasure, lunch box. You put your lunch in a box, okay? All right, next one, this one. St, st, ah, very good. St, st, okay, it's initial blend. St, ah, st, st, ast, stust. Eaten, st, st, asting, stusting, stusting. Mm -hmm. Is that a word? Stusting. Trash or treasure? Which one is it? Mm. It is, of course, trash. It is not a word. Stusting. What does stusting mean? No, that's not a word. All right. Next one. Mm. K ah, k -r Cr e nk crink b e g cr e nk crink b e g crink big crink big hmm what's a crink big you tell me what a crink big is is it trash or is it treasure mm, which one is it it is of course trash that is not a word I have no idea what a crink big is no idea all right next one g Gift, bag, gift, gift, bag, 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 gift bag, gift bag. Ah, I feel like we've read this word before. If you remember at the start, gift bag. So of course that one is treasure. Very good. All right. I oh, don't. No, that's all our words. There we're done with buried treasure. Okay, now it's time to read some tricky words. All right, we're going to start with the first word over here. So let's have a go at reading. So I'll use the sound buttons I need to show you. So I've got da, o, do. Uh, that is not a word, do. So the tricky part in this word is, of course, this part here at the end, which is the o. We don't, don't say o, we say oo. So it's da, oo, do. Can you say that for me? Do. Very good. Okay. So this word is do. That's our tricky word. Uh, the next word, let's go down here. We've got wa. Oops, sorry. Let me just undo that one. Wa e n. This one makes the w sound when it's W and H together. Okay. We don't read it as w and h. We don't read it as w and then h as two separate sounds. So that is our tricky part in this word. Okay, I'm gonna highlight that tricky bit for you. So the w bit, okay? So we can see here as w, e, n. We have to read the, the w and the h together. So w, e, n, when. This next one, we've got ow. So this one is out, out. Oh, there's actually no tricky bit in this one. This one, actually makes that sound okay that's another way to write the ow sound ow so we know the ow sound can be ow written like this we know it can be written like this and it can also be written like that as well so ow and then t together makes out as in in and out we're going to go in and out go outside out okay then we've got this word over here if you've noticed did you see in when? It's the same. It's the same tricky bit. Is it w, a, t, wat? It's wat. Mm, there's two tricky bits in this word. It's trying to trick you, really trying to trick you. This is two tricky bits. It's got the w, and then this one is also a tricky bit. We don't say a, we say o, w, o, t, what. Okay, it's just very tricky because we've got two tricky bits here. So w is W and H together, w, ot, what, and that's how we spell this word, okay? When we read it, we know it's what, but when we spell it, spell we have to spell it this way. I know, that's just the rule. That's how we spell it. All right, next one, this word. Now, this is a bit of a tricky one because we haven't learnt this yet, but this one up here, so this is called an apostrophe, okay? It's not a comma because the commas are down low. So when we draw a comma, it's usually down low like this, 
okay, on the ground. So it's got a little, it's a full stop with a little tail at the end. But this one's sitting up nice and high. So that's called an apostrophe. So that just means that this word is actually a shortened word. So this word is actually the word it is. And this apostrophe here just means that we've taken out the e in it, but it's is the same as it is. They're actually the same, okay? But all I've done is I've just shortened it. It's called a contraction, which means I've just shortened the word like that. And I've added an apostrophe in here. Instead of writing the I, I've just put an apostrophe there instead, okay? But you'll learn a bit about this a little bit later as well, okay? So to read this word, it is it, it's, it's. So that's how we read that word. And that's what that apostrophe there is for. It's because when we say it, it's is the same as it is. So it's hot or it is hot. It means the same thing. So it's hot, it is hot. It means the same thing, but we can either write it like this or say it like this or write it like this or say it like this. Okay, that's all that really it is. Really is. Um, this word, let's have a look at this one. Huh, eh. Up. Ah, I'm trying to trick you. There's no tricky bits in this one. What's this word? Help. 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 Of course, that's what that word is. Help. Very good. All right. We're going to have a go at writing some tricky words. Uh, the first tricky word is my. Okay. So m i. Okay. The tricky part is the i part. Okay. We say i, but we don't write i. It's a weird one, I know. Write the mm part first. So what letter do you write? Or mm, you write that down first and then I'm going to write it into our frame. You can draw a frame if you want to. You don't have to. You can just write straight onto your sheet of paper. So it's, of course, mm, my, I. You have to go and think, what is the I sound for my? As in, my name is Miss Cheng. My, I, I. So my... It is, of course, the letter Y when we write the word my. It doesn't make the Y sound, but we have to write the letter Y. We have to write Y for my because that's just how we write it. Okay, so my. All right, the next one. Next one is her. Now, this one's actually not a tricky word, but it is a word that we write often. So you will need to know how to write this one. So we're going to have to think about the sounds that we can hear. Huh, uh, her. So there are two sounds. So do the first one. So write that down. Her. And then the next is uh, her. Uh. Of course, it is doggy at the, oh my goodness, what's going on with my pen? Her, it's doggy at the end. So the er uh sound, remember there's two ways to write the er uh sound. We can write it er, uh, as in sat er day, Saturday, or we can write this er, uh, which is doggy at the end, which means the sound is at the end. Remember on our chart, we can see this sound is when it's at the end, when we hear it at the end. So that's why we're writing this er uh, and not this er, uh, okay? All right, we're going to have a go at reading these sentences. So let's have a little go. Um, I'm going to change to my sound buttons. K -n can. K ah, this one. K -r -r Crabs, crabs, k k cool, cool, app, clap, k and can, crabs, crabs, k app, clap, can crabs clap, and, hatten, and, hand, hands, hands, can crabs clap hands. Can crabs clap hands? Can they? I don't know. You tell me. <laughs> All right. The next one. Is is. All right. This is a tricky one. The the. Okay. This is a really tricky one. The. Then remember, this is the hard the uh uh, and this one makes the uh sound. This is a tricky word. The is the. Mm, 
moon, moon. Ah, uh, girl, 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 in, girl, in green. Is the moon green? Is the moon green? I don't know. Is it green? I don't know. You tell me. All righty. Well done for doing our, our phonics lesson today. Look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Okay. Bye.